From the heart of Hell's Kitchen, this is The Projcast, a podcast created by the community at the 52nd Street Project. We're a nonprofit in New York City that partners the young people of Hell's Kitchen with professional artists to create original work that is often performed free of charge to the public. I'm John Sheehy, Director of Institutional Advancement here at The Project. And speaking of free performances of original work presented in our Five Angels Theater, this Friday, October 27, at 7.30, we are offering Tune In, our 2023 songmaking concert. In songmaking, five project members have been attending weekly sessions here at the project. They are each paired with an adult composer who are grad students or alumni of NYU's Tisch School of the Arts Musical Theater Writing Program or Berkeley NYC's Power Station. The young people learn about creating songs, lyrics, rhyme scheme, structure, tone. All of this led by our program director, Garrett Kim, and our music director, Avi Amon. The songs that these pairs are creating will be performed by an array of amazing performers this Friday, and you can find information for reservations on our website, 52project.org. Today on the podcast, we have a variation of our Behind the Pencil interviews that we're calling Behind the Keyboard. This is where I sit down with the young songmakers to chat about their experience in the program and their thoughts and inspirations in creating these songs. So without further ado, here are my conversations with Anthony, Bella, Angel, Jelani, and Josiah. What's your name? My name is Anthony. How old are you? I am 13 years old. So how would you describe songmaking? Song making has been a fun and interesting opportunity for me as I have been able to further develop my ability to write stories effectively. So you like songs that tell a story. Mm-hmm. Um, who's your song making partner? My song making partner's name is Mikey. And what can you tell us about him? He has been very helpful in trying to find the right tone of a song as trying different as but listening to a different keyboard. I don't know how to put it. Just different. Listening to a keyboard while writing mm-hmm. is just helpful. The music inspires yes. you. Yes. It's interesting. So it's like the notes make you think of different words. Yes. Really cool. Which of your songs are going to be in the concert? The songs that will be in my concert are Life Like This, The Fight, and Gary's Dojo. And what, why don't you tell us about one of them? So Gary's Dojo is a fake TV jingle that I made because I thought it would be funny and unique to the audience to have just a fake advertisement as one of the songs in the concert. (laughs) What inspired you while you were writing these songs? So no singular thing inspired me. It's just as soon as I thought of an idea that I thought could be fully fleshed onto a song, that's what I would do, just turn into a song. Right, so you develop it. You, you get the idea and you develop it into a song. Yes. What do you think is the most challenging thing about writing a song? So the most challenging thing to writing a song is finding an effective rhyme scheme and trying to find a, an effective hook. Right, and why do you think finding an effective hook is so hard? Because in order to... In order to make it effective hook, you need to have a chorus that is catchy enough to hook the audience in. Great. Good description of a hook. What are you looking forward to the most about the concert that's coming up? So I'm really looking forward to see how the how Project for the East Lake Street has turned my songs into a fully like a, a full concert and stage presence. Because I thought I think that'd be very cool to see how just one idea could develop into a full concert. What do you want the audience to get from hearing your songs? I mainly want the audience just to have a fun time listening to my songs. That's it. Just to really just not not to like deliver a message about anything sad. Just to just have a good time. Fun entertainment. Yes. What is your favorite type of music, do you think? So I like multiple types of music, which can go from like rock to jazz to rap and like yeah just multiple stuff Uh uh-huh is there any type of music that you don't like or doesn't 
vibe with you? Classical music, yeah. just because I only use that for studying. Right. <laughs> so you associate it with work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite songs right now or artists? So my favorite artist right now is a rapper named Lil Tecca. Uh-huh. And do you have a particular favorite song by Lil Tecca? Ransom. Okay. What have you learned in song making that is surprising to you? So I've learned, I've just learned how working with a partner who is also a composer and helping make music is just very helpful in just helping you focus and write a song. Is there anything else that you want to say about the project or about song making? Just that the project has been very helpful in, like I said, in t- to help me further help to further develop my stories and uh-huh. to find new tools that could also be used in songs. Right. And do you think that you'll keep pursuing music or writing lyrics or? I'll probably still be making songs. And I could make music, but I feel like making stories is just more of my type. Nice, nice. Anything else you want to talk about today? Mm, Nothing, just how it's been a very, very fun experience so far. Fantastic. Thank you for talking with me today, Anthony. No problem. What's your name? My name's Bella. And how old are you? I am 12 years old. How would you describe the song-making process? I would describe it as, like, fun and, like, adventurous because you get to, like, adventure on different, like, themes of, like, what your song is going to be about. Mm -hmm. And there's different, like, topics and, like, the background, like, the background story of the song. Because I know some, like, songs have background meanings to it. And, like, most of the songs that we, like, at the um, song-making class, some, I think some people do have backgrounds for it. I don't know that I do, but I don't know about the other ones. I think they might have. Great. And you're working with um, uh, a composer, someone who's focusing on the music, while you mostly focus on the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And what can you tell me about the, the adult that you're working with? She's amazing. Like, she does the piano, and honestly, like... Like, if, say, as I'm doing a song and um, I ask her, can you play, like, the um, instrumental for me? So that way, because when I'm going to make a song, I have to listen to the instrumental. So that way I could make the lyrics. So then, like, be like, um, if the song, like, go bum, 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 I could be like this, 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 like that. Right, right, right. And she does it perfectly. Like, she, say, she plays the piano and, like, I like I don't even say anything. She just plays it, and she plays it how exactly like I think of it. So I'm like, this is perfect. And I made like what like seven songs already. Wow! I wow. made seven songs, and she's honestly so funny. She like is very like confident. She's brave, and she's very like outstanding. What can you tell us about the songs for of yours that are going to be in the concert? Okay, so a lot of them. Like I said, mine has backgrounds, like, stuff. Like, they have a background meaning to it. And the first song is, I think, Grief. Yeah, I think the song was The Grief, The Griefing, I think. Uh. And that song is basically about how old people, like, are, like, basically grief. The time now is, like, so fast because people grow up so fast. And now, like, old people, they look back. And see children, and they're like, oh, I wish I was that age again. So, because they, they like, people wish that they could relive their lives. Uh-huh. So, like, That's an interesting, yeah. interesting idea behind the song. Yeah. Like, this one part of the song, it was like, I look into the mirror, and I see my, I look into the mirror, and I see my young self again. Because they wish they could see their young self again. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. Like, Do you I, think that's your favorite song that you come up with? Probably my second favorite, cause the first fa- my first favorite. Yeah, let's I, hear about it. I it's basically animals, uh-huh. and um, it's basically about how people, like uh, people have ta- like have like struggle with like social anxiety, so uh-huh. like they can't really speak to anybody, they can't talk to nobody, so they have social anxiety. So what if they feel like they're alone, but like they have like if people have animals, so I feel like people talk to their animals. And, like, find them as their comfort zone because, uh-huh. 
like they have no one else to talk to and it also is based by fake friends cuz the people you trust can't always be trusted because like they might say stuff or like spread stuff and that's why people sometimes have like a struggle with like um trusting people so they have right. pets to comfort them so cuz you can trust your pets yes and <laughs> <laughs> and um it's also based off of cats too cuz me and my like um partner we both have cats, so mm-hmm. it was, like, perfect. I was like, should we include cats? And she was like, yes. I'm like, okay. Um, what do you think is the most challenging thing about coming up with a song? Lyrics. Yeah. Lyrics. I. It's so hard for me to think about lyrics. Because I have... Th- one thing about me, if you're going to ask me to make a song, I have to think of everything that rhymes. I can't be like... Oh. So you really like when a song rhymes? Yes, I love when a song rhymes. Because all my whole playlist is about like songs rhyming with each other. Oh, so wow. cool. like I cannot go without making a song without it rhyming. Like if it does not rhyme, I'm gonna it's gonna stress me out. Cause I'm yeah. like, what is this? How does this make sense? Like yeah. this and that. Like yeah, well, when it's a, like Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Well when a song rhymes, or like Dr. Seuss, when a song rhymes, you feel that it that it like it lands on that that word that just makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It really helps guide the understanding yeah, of the song. It helps me guide it and like understand it more better. What is your favorite type of music? Oh, <laughs> probably pop and like maybe a little bit of rock, mm-hmm. I think. I don't know if my playlist like has rock in it, but I most definitely know that my um playlist has like um, two thousands music, mm-hmm. like m- like music back from the days. Yeah, and like um like pop music, cause I have like a lot. I have like a few songs of Michael Jackson in there. Uh-huh. Like I have like a lot of pop though. I know nice. that I have pop in there. And do you have somebody that you think is your like your favorite artist right now or favorite song right now? Am I allowed to name like a few? Sure. Okay, so I um. I've been listening to Stevie Nicks for oh, a cool. month now. Yeah. I love her music. And there's this um, specific song called Crystal. I'm not even joking you. Every time I wake up for school, that I play that on my speaker, and I just get ready for the day. I love that song so much. I could fall asleep to it. I fell asleep to it one time. Nice. Like, I love Stevie Nicks. It's nice to have a song that you can really vibe to. Yeah. And then another one will have to be Melanie Martinez. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I love her music. She just came out with the album, not recently. I wouldn't say recently. I will say, like, a few months ago in March. Uh-huh. That's but, pretty recent still. Yeah. And she came out with this album. I love it. Do you have a genre of music that you don't really like or something that doesn't just doesn't hit with you? Country music. Yeah, really? I do not like country music. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's something about country music that just, like, I know people are going to be like, oh, country music's good. Like, you know, everyone has an opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like country music doesn't like, it's like kind of, I don't want to say weird because I don't want to upset people, but like, I wouldn't, not my taste. It's just not, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's not my like type of genre. It doesn't really speak to yeah, you. Yeah, it doesn't fit with me. Yeah. What have you learned in song making that surprised you? Um, I learned that I could make mistakes because I know... When, like, I listen to, like, music, I feel like the people I'm listening to, I know they make mistakes, but I feel like every time they make music, it comes out better, like, good. And I, like, it's, I learned from, like, song making that it's okay to make mistakes in your um songs because it doesn't really define, like, anything. It's just you, like, having, like, being creative about making songs. Right. So I learned that. And it really did help me because now every time, like, I stutter, it's, like, oh, it's just, like, natural, a part of, like, songs. Because I know people stutter sometimes yeah. when they make songs sometimes. Um, is there anything else you want to say about song making or about the, the project? Um, honestly, I, like, it, it feels so different coming back. When I did this podcast last year, yeah. and the thing is, I still listen to it. I still listen you to too. it. Yeah, every time, like I like, I want to be like, oh, I want to hear myself. Like I listen to the podcast, I'm like, oh, this is me. This is when I was like 11. <laughs> well, well, you, well, you you'll be able to keep looking back and seeing yeah. seeing your progress. Yeah, through the project, it, like it really helps me because, like, the projects. I feel like it helped me 
when mainly I was, like, not feeling, like, confident about myself. Because when I first came here, I wasn't feeling that confident. Now I did my play back in, what was this, September? Yeah. Yeah, yeah September. I did the... Um, one-on-one, yeah. The one-on-ones. And now what was now it's what's like the two song. on ones? Now you're the, doing song making. Now I'm doing song making. Next one might be two on twos, yeah. yeah might two be. On or two. maybe playback, I'm not sure which. I think but yeah, it might be two lots, on twos. Lots and lots of programs for you coming up. Yeah. yeah. And I'm very excited for that. Cause my mom, like I don't know if I mentioned this in the last podcast, but my mom used to be a project member. Uh-huh. I don't know what year. I know this has been here for like, how long has it? The project's been like. It's here? been around 40 years or longer. 40 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. A long time. My mom used to be a project member. That's right. I remember. Yeah. And she, I'm guessing she wants me to follow in like what she used to do, like follow in her footsteps. So she signed me up at first. The first, I couldn't remember this like it was yesterday. I came out of school. My mom picked me up in her car. She's like, Bella, you have um, the projects today. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I forgot. And I got so scared. Once I came here, I was so scared because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I was like, Ma, what if this doesn't work out for me? What if, like, what if like this doesn't be like make it a success for me? She's like, Bella, trust me. I've been here for, like, over, I think she came here for how much? Like, two years, wasn't it? Or oh, she was here for a long time. She was yeah. here maybe almost 10 years. 10 years? Ten years? Because you start when you're nine or ten, and it goes all the way through high school. So maybe it's about eight years. Yeah. I does this? Oh wait, it stops at high school. After high school. Oh, so right before college. college. Yeah. 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 She came during, like she hasn't. She showed me her play on um, writing book. Mm-hmm. She did a rock. She made a a play about a rock. I was <laughs> that had me giggling. That was really funny. She's like Bella. Uh, it's a creative place, Bella. You get to do anything. That's right. Um, anything could be an inspiration. And I was like, a rock, though, Ma? Anything else you want to talk about today? Um, A little sneak peek. Most <laughs> of my songs are about moons. <laughs> about the moon. <laughs> a little sneak peek. Um, two, I think, one of my songs, the song that is going to be at the concert, yeah. it's, about, it's about like taking pictures of the moon. Nice. And it's kind of based off of me because I, if you see my photo album of how many pictures I have of the moon, and it's a cl- it's clear shots, clear shots. You can see all the detail. It like you'll be amazed. Like I have so many. So the moon is something that inspired you in music too. Like the Mason, the moon is my comfort. Like I, I see it. I see the moon as my comfort so much. I talk to the moon. I literally talk to it. I'm not even joking, you. I talk to the moon. Do you know there's a Bruno Mars song called "Talking to the Moon"? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. And I journal about it. I journal about the um, the super blue moon that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was beautiful. The sky was pink. Yeah. The sunset was gorgeous, gorgeous. It was beautiful. I love so nice. like I love the moon. I have I have a moon book. Like I have a moon um, dream catcher. Everything is about the moon in my room. I'm not even joking you. That's so great. Thank you so much for talking with You're me welcome. today. It was really fun. Thank you. What's your name? Angel. And how old are you? Ten. So you've been taking song making now for a few weeks. Yeah. Can you describe the song making process for us? What happens in song making? So we first get in, um, and then somebody who replied to play a song, they get to play it, and we describe how the song made us feel or made made us, you know, or what inter- in- instruments they were. Uh-huh. And what kind of things do you learn in song making? I learn how, how to, you know, write about character. I also try to help with some of the notes. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you're, you're working with a composer, someone who writes the music. Yes. And mostly you come up with the words, and mostly they come up with the music. Yes. But it's also a collaboration. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Who is your song-making partner? Adam. What can you tell us about the composer that you're working with? He's, he's very um, positive and motivative. What kind of things inspire you to write songs? Well, songs, like, are very... They, they're very, like, mood-changing, so... 
Like, if it's a sad song, it makes you sad. If it's a happy song, it makes you happy. But my favorite type of genre of song is lo-fi, which helps you write more. So that's why I write a lot when, like, the song is playing. Uh Uh-huh. And how does it make you feel listening to lo-fi? Calming and, like, non-distractful. Mm-hmm. What do you think is the most challenging thing about writing songs? The most challenging things about like writing songs is where you're going to put the song at, how the lyrics is going to be, and how how the song is going to like sound sound or change, like transition. Uh-huh. So what are your fa- some of your favorite songs that you like to listen to these days? Some of my favorite songs or artists or like artists there's um this hmm. I don't really I don't really like pay attention to the name of the song uh-huh. or artists but I know this like guy and he was actually a substitute teacher right uh-huh and then he uh quit and he started making music cool is it a, is it a YouTube music guy or a TikTok music guy or? um his music, uh, he posts his music from, he started posting his music from TikTok. Then he uh, released the full music videos on YouTube. Uh-huh. And I think he's on Twitch. Uh-huh. N- now, when, like, talk about um, song requests or TikTok Alive. Uh-huh. And, and he does lo-fi, he does stuff that you want to listen to when you're, like... He, chilling or trying to focus on something he he doesn't do lo-fi but it's like a different type of genre of music like rock for example oh he does he has like rock music yeah is there like a genre of music that you just does not vibe with you that you just don't like i don't like sing like songs that they sing like i i mostly listen to rock lo-fi but i don't i don't like so if the song if it's about singing uh-huh. And and it has no, it doesn't really have any meaning. Like you know how songs have like its own backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like those type of songs, but everything else, I I love. Right. So if it's going to have words, you want it to be more like a story yeah. or something. I also like songs that I don't understand, like different languages songs. Yeah, yeah. What is something that you have learned about in song making that surprised you? I learned that. The songs, they they could be like difficult, like you know when it comes to planning or ideas. But once you start having like stories, you start the song gets you know how to write more songs. It starts to get easier. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's something that you'll keep up with? Um, I'm not sure, but. At, I kind of I, I, I kind of like a song making, so yeah, uh, I guess so. Cool. What are you looking forward to the most about the song making concert that's coming up? Um, the concert. Itself. Just just being at the concert. Just being at the concert. Nice. What do you want the audiences to feel by I hearing the, your songs? I want the audience to like have, have like listen like I want the audience to like the song. Have their have have like you know have them vibe with the song have them you know relate with the song. Is there anything else you want to say about the project or about song making? I, I like song making uh, very much. Out of all the plays I've done, besides from the go, was it going on the move play? On the move. Uh-huh. On, the, on the move play. Yeah. Um, this one is one of my favorites. Nice. Very nice. What's your name? Um, Jaylani. And how old are you? Ten years old. How would you describe song making? Fun, um, making songs, um, uh-huh. playing games to like make friends, kind of. Because uh-huh. on the first day we just played games, and we were um, saying like our pronouns, um, our favorite like snack or like our favorite summer treat. Uh huh. So it's like getting to know each other. Yeah. Because you guys are all working with adults, right? Yeah. And who's the adult that you're working with? Paige. 
And what can you tell me about Paige? Paige is very fun. Um, she really helps me. Like, when I don't know how to spell a word, she tells me. Because, like, even when she says sound it out, I figure it out. But sometimes she helps me. Like, if it's a really big word, like, um, what was the word that I was trying to spell? It was, like, um... It was because when we were in Garrett, we're working together. Mm-hmm. It was like he's like good question because today we'd be in Garrett, we're working because I didn't go to class last week. Um, I'm like, how do you spell pepperoni? Because like, pepperoni is really hard to spell because it's yeah, like it's got a lot of p's in it. It's a pretty long word. Yeah, and so he told me, and then I was like, that's how you spell it. Yeah, you have to know how to. You have to know how many syllables on a word if you're going to make a song, because each of the syllables has to do with how the song scans, Mm -hmm. what the rhythm of the song is like. Yeah, like if it's happy, sad. Yeah. Exciting, anxious. Which of your songs are going to be in the concert? You chose which songs to be in the concert, right? One of them or all of them? Yeah, why don't you tell me about one? Pick one and tell me about it. Um, We have the first one that I made, which was Hi, I'm Rosie. Uh-huh. And it's about a flower near the get the um, car wash uh-huh. in the school, like when you go the opposite way uh-huh. near PAL. Uh-huh. And um, there's like a little like garden near a yeah. dog, like the dog where they put the Halloween decorations and everything. Mm-hmm. And there's like a little square, and it had this pink, pretty rose, and I named it Rosie. And there's another one next to it, and. Um, I named that one Rose. Rose and Rosie. And in the song, they're like best friends. Uh-huh. And um, she wants, the song is about where she wants to be picked for for that exciting moment where a kid picks her because kids pass by, but they always see her alone. Uh-huh. And um, her quirk is like where her and her friend can only talk uh-huh. instead of like all of the roses, only her and her friend. And... Yeah, and one time we did um, an emotional journey where we did we picked a song that we had made from the past, uh-huh. and um, we got a random sticky note out of a jar. Uh-huh. Me and Paige got both a piece of paper, uh-huh. and it was a random one, and we opened it, and we had to like choose if we went from sad to embarrassed or embarrassed to sad. Right. And we did right. embarrassed to sad, where uh-huh. it was... It was like just a draft where she was she was singing, but a kid heard her, uh-huh. and she was scared that someone that the kid was gonna tell her mom, and mm-hmm. that the the mom would just take her and throw her away, oh. and she would die. Yeah, because wow. she wants that exciting moment that a kid has picked her. That's so cool. So that's what your song is about. Yeah, and it's called Rosie. That song. It's called Hi, I'm Rosie. Hi, I'm Rosie. Yeah, nice. So nice. What inspired you? To, like you, you talked about the emotional journey. You talked about seeing that that flower out in public. Um, are there any other things that inspire you when you're writing songs? Um, like what inspired me was no one wants to be alone. Uh-huh. Like that, where no one wants to like. Where some kids at school they don't have much friends and they're like all alone, mm-hmm. kind of. And it's like um, they they're they're together. Like she has her friend, and then when she gets picked, she's gonna have her kid, uh-huh. the kid who picked her. Ah, uh-huh. like that. Ah, uh-huh. what would you say is the most challenging thing about making a song? The lyrics, because you have to like, if you make a rhyming song, you have to look for words that sound the same uh-huh. and if you want like a sad or a happy song you have to find the right music first and then the lyrics mm-hmm. because it's like you have to like make sure the r- words and the um and the melody go together because one time gary brought in two songs and he was like can you like hear the difference because they were singing the same song except the melodies were different and it was um um I forgot what the song was called. It was by Whitney Houston and someone else. Uh-huh. And um, where they were singing the same song, but the melody was different. That's interesting. And it changes the way you hear the song. Yeah. That's a really good example. 
yeah, music can make a huge difference, especially emotionally. It can make a big difference. Mm-hmm. What are you looking forward to the most about the concert that is coming up? My mom, my sister, and my grandma, or my uncle, probably, to hear it. Or, like, my whole family to hear it. Yeah, can to share it with because your family? after the classes, I told them nothing. Nice, because you want it to be a, a surprise. surprise. What do you want the audience to feel by hearing your songs? Like, the song is explained, right? Because um, today... Today, when me and Garrett were working, he was like, no one is going to see your um, character profile where you have to explain the details and you have to, like, make sure the audience knows where the character's state of mind is or, like, right. where the character is or, like, how the character feels, and that's how they get it. Right. So you want to make sure that the audience understands the songs. Yes. What is your favorite type of music? sad and happy, like energetic music, uh-huh. or like Olivia Rodrigo. Is she your favorite artist right now? Um, yeah. And what, do you have a favorite song by her right now? Um, either Bad Idea Right or um, Vampire uh-huh. or The Grudge. Right. So like, those are, those are all off the... Guts. Right. The new album. Right. Yes. What have you learned from song making that surprised you? that you have no idea what the song is going to be like until the last class that you meet, like dress rehearsal, because you don't know what they're going to make of it, because you just write the lyrics and they work on the music mm-hmm. and the like the way they perform, the way they sing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's kind of like a surprise for you and your family. Now that you've been doing song making, do you think that you'll keep up? With music, keep up making music or songs or things? Yeah, Maybe writing I, poetry or... I don't really write poetry, but I do play the drums at home because cool. I have a mini drum set. Uh-huh. Where it's only like three pieces, like it's an actual drum, uh-huh. like big. Uh-huh. It's only three pieces. It only comes with right. the, the... What's it called? The drum... Is it the snare? No, it's like the circle thing. Yeah, drum... No, it's like there's like a two, there's two oh. drums and then there's a thing that stands Oh, up. like a cymbal? Yes, cymbal. A cymbal, right. That's it. And do you like drumming? Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's just really loud. Yeah, it's like I would have to do it somewhere like this where it's like really quiet and no one's in here and like they can't really hear you out there. Like it's soundproof kind of. Yeah. Is there anything else about song making? Or the project that you want to say? It's really fun. Yeah? Yeah, it's really fun. Like, um, the way you um, make friends in your group. And some kids might be in your, like, some kids, they're in the same group for playmaking. And then now that we're in song making, some of the kids in my group, like one kid, Josiah, he's in my group. So, Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. Right. He was in my song making and now he's in my... He was in your playmaking. He was in my playmaking and my song making right now. Right. And then you get to meet other kids that were in other groups. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Josiah. How old are you? I am nine. How would you describe song making? I describe it fun and like exciting because you get to make your own song when you think about the future and then um you get to make a full you get to be in like the concert of and they play your song i think it's gonna be really fun cool and you're working with uh an adult composer yeah with who's your partner for song making my partner's name is jonia Uh and um He's really funny and nice. And what is it like when you guys uh, work together? Um, it's like I, I'm proud of it because when we work together, we always fix uh, mistakes and we always um, make our songs better. Uh huh. And I think it's been fun. Great. Um, which of your songs are going to be in the concert? I'm probably going to put 
maybe the one where um basically this guy his name's Ozzy and he goes to like a vacation uh-huh. to Dominican Republic to the fourth time. This is one I am working on. Uh-huh. Last time and I think that one is a good one and I also have another one. Uh-huh. That's called King of the Signs. Uh-huh. And it's based on a sign named Max, and he wants to help people and be the best at help. Um, what inspires you when you're working on a song? What inspires me is I think maybe maybe singers inspire me because the way their sound and their mood and the sounds they make is mm-hmm. just like... Some songs are beautiful. Some songs get you into the mood, and that's what I want to do. Great. What do you think is the most challenging thing about making a song? Probably the most challenging thing is probably just thinking of what to change of your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Um, Because sometimes it takes me like 10 minutes or like two to figure out what to do for the next time Uh so um i just think and sometimes i just get trouble thinking because it's hard for me to think sometimes Uh and i just pay attention to the importance and then it helps me get thoughts but i think that's the hardest part right so would you say it's it's not so much getting the idea, but developing the idea? Yeah. Interesting. What are you looking forward to the most about the concert that's coming up? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the whole, like, everyone watching, like, the crowd, because it's pretty fun, because when I made my play, um, there there was a lot of people in the seats, and I got a little nervous, but then it got fun. Yeah. It's both of those. It's kind of like it makes you excited, too. Yeah. What do you want the audience to get from hearing your songs? I want them to get that feeling, that, like, excited, groovy feeling Mm -hmm. so they could, like, the audience could be happy knowing the story and excited to hear it. What is your favorite type of music? I like jazz music and hip-hop music Uh because I just like um, the lyrics of them both, and it sounds nice. Who are some of your favorite musical artists right now? For rapper, I like Drake. Uh Uh-huh. And for jazz, um, I'm not sure yet because it's hard Mm -hmm. because there's a lot of... There's a lot. Yeah. Do you have songs that you like to listen to a lot right now? Not really, but there's one song that keeps getting into my head. And I actually, um, I think I performed it in school. Yeah? Yeah, and it's called Big Yellow Taxi. Big Yellow Taxi, that's a Joni Mitchell song. Yeah. That's a great song. I love that song. You sang that at school? Um, yeah, we sung it in front of our parents, so, like, there was a bunch of parents, and they all saw and Uh watched. So you paved paradise and you put up a parking lot. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What have you learned in song making that surprised you? I learned how to, like, develop ideas, because normally... Well, normally it takes longer when before I was doing song making, it took me like a little longer to do a play because uh-huh. I really had to think on what they were going to say next. So I think this, since I did a play, it's a bit easier for mm-hmm. me to do things. Yeah. You can trust your creativity better. Yeah. Because you know you've done it before. Is there any kind of music that you don't like or that you um, doesn't land with you or whatever? I don't like probably... Um, 
there's a lot of songs that I do like, Mm -hmm. but some songs, like, I don't really like rock music Uh a lot as much as I used to, Uh because I don't really like the, um, sometimes how the electric guitars and rock work. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you want to say about the project or about song making? Um, the projects is really fun. Um, I highly recommend it because, like, once you go there, you get to use your mind, and a lot of your mind is being active here because you create things, and I, for me, I think creating is fun. That was Anthony, Bella, Angel, Jelani, and Josiah. If you'd like to get your free tickets for Tune In, the 2023 song-making concert, this Friday, October 27 at 7.30, here in our Five Angels Theater in Hell's Kitchen, New York City, just head over to our website, 52project.org. All of us at the project would love to have you there. And now for the credits. The project members featured in this episode were Angel, Anthony, Bella, Jelani, and Josiah. The podcast theme song was created by Justin and his smart partner, Eric March, and performed by Miranda Anderson, Rebecca, and Nicole. The podcast logo was created by Iris Brown. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The 52nd Street Project is supported by public funds from the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs and the New York State Council on the Arts. We are a nonprofit organization, and we're able to do what we do because of generous folks like you. Well, that's all for today. Stay safe out there and remember the project motto, we all belong, we all get along. See you next time on the broadcast. See you next month. Wait, nothing rhymes with month. On the 52nd Street Projecast.